Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. Ogre. We just got done talking about the apocrine and American sweat glands. Now we're going to talk about primarily your sebaceous glands. I got a couple more I want to mention at the end just because they're not worthy of their own video. Let's put it that way. So sebaceous glands are going to be oil glands and they're going to produce sebum. So sebum is this, this rich, oily substance that lubricates and protects the epidermis, inhibits the growth and movement of bacteria, and it also waterproofs your skin and your hair. So sebum is very, very important. So sebaceous glands, uh, the first thing to note is that every hair follicle has its own sebaceous gland, but then there also are sebaceous glands that just dump sebum right onto the skin as well. So, so remember, there's kind of two types of sebaceous glands, the ones that are lubricating hair as it's growing and the ones that are just on the surface lubricating the rest of your skin. Um, the, the production and secretion of sebum is, sebum, sorry, is stimulated by hormones, which is why they're not very active until puberty. So at puberty, we, we already talked about how you're going to start to produce apricot sweat, which can lead to body odor, but also you're gonna, your skin and hair are going to get a lot more oily at, at puberty. Um, the androgens, the male sex hormones, will, will produce a lot of sebum, but all, all of the sex hormones do as well. Um, so that's, that's going to be sebaceous glands, where they are, around a hair follicle and just on the skin surface. That What they produce is sebum, which, is, which waterproofs hair uh, and, and protects your epidermis, etc. That also can lead to problems, which we'll cover in the next video, which is, which can, which is acne. But I do want to mention just the other glands. We talked about sweat glands and sebaceous glands. There are other multicellular exocrine glands that are associated with the skin or the integumentary system. That would be mammary, mammary glands, which produce milk. We'll, co we'll cover milk in our last chapter together, breast milk. And then ceruminous glands are the ones that produce cerumen or earwax. So I'll cover those when we talk about those structures, but I just want to mention them here as well. All right, that, that is sebaceous glands. There's a couple other ones as well. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.